Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be looking at a stylus, which I know doesn't sound too exciting, but I'm going to explain in this video why I've picked this one up. And this is the Bamboo Stylus from Wacom, so let's take a look. Now before I go into the reasons as to why I picked up a stylus, and also giving you guys a quick demo, I wanted to do a quick unboxing to show what you're going to be getting inside the box. Now obviously it's a stylus, so don't expect too much. On the front of the box you can see here that it says it's made for iPhone and iPad, although this will work with any touchscreen device. It also gives you some information on the back in terms of the actual stylus itself, and on the right hand side you can see which colour you've picked up, and I've just gone for the standard black colour. So once you get inside the packaging you are obviously going to get the stylus, but you are also going to get some information in regards to some paperwork, which you may or may not want to have a look at. Now the first thing that you're going to get is some information regarding this specific stylus, so just in general how to use it, what it's good for, and also some information on the back in regards to replacement tips, and also additional colours that you can pick up if you wish, but as I've mentioned I personally prefer the black one. You've also got a quick start guide which I think is quite funny for a stylus, as I'm not too sure what information you need apart from how to actually change the ends. You've also got the stylus itself. Now I was really impressed with this stylus, it only set me back around £6 here in the UK from Amazon and it's made of metal, the whole thing is made of a really nice metal and it kind of reminds me a bit of the iPhone 5 or 5S with a very cold touch when you're picking it up. If you don't use it overnight for instance and you're using it the next morning, it does have a really nice cold feel to it and it also has some weight to it as well which I definitely do appreciate. Now you've got some bamboo branding up at the top and as I mentioned it's made of a matte black metal which again can pick up some fingerprints here and there but that's not necessarily a massive problem with a stylus. Now you've also got the clip here so if you did want to clip it onto your shirt or onto your jeans or anything then you can do and it is also changeable and you can pick up different colours if you wish. You've also got the nib down here at the very end and again these are interchangeable as they can wear over time so that's definitely something to keep in mind. But overall I'm really impressed with the build quality and it goes really nicely along something like my MacBook Pro or even my Nexus 5 with the matte black. So why have I picked up a stylus? Well, it's actually mainly for you guys. If I've got any new apps or any new launches or themes or anything that I wanna go through with you guys, I feel this is the best way to do it. I've experimented over the last kind of month or so with different styles of videos for recording my screen and just showing you guys exactly what I'm looking at. And I think a stylus is probably the best way to go. You can see some examples of how I've done some other videos on the Copper vs Glass YouTube page, which obviously if you wanna to subscribe to and keep up to date with all the new content, then feel free to do so. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. In terms of the sensitivity of the actual stylus itself, you can see here that it's quite comparable to something like a finger, obviously there is some slight lag, but that's mainly the actual touchscreen itself and nothing to do with the stylus, and it's expected with all touchscreens, it's not one for one, and you can also touch and hold to kind of get rid of icons, move things around, and just in general navigate the OS as if you were doing it with your own finger, which is definitely something I appreciate. Now you don't just have to use it on tablets either, you can also use it on a mobile device. So here I've got my Nexus 5 and you can see here that it works exactly the same as if I was doing it with my hand. Now that's something that I really like as some styluses do have some issues with picking up and recognising touches, but this one has no issues whatsoever. I'm also using a screen protector on my Nexus 5, so that's just kind of proving to you guys that it does work with screen protectors, and it is a glass screen protector, so again it's quite thick, so it's great to see that that picks up the touch really well, so if you've got any other screen protectors, obviously maybe some more flimsy ones or some thinner ones, then you're going to have no issues whatsoever. So be sure to let me know guys down below if you do use a stylus on a touchscreen device. I know they're quite old school and obviously a lot of older devices use them and a lot of people these days don't really think that they're necessary but sometimes they are if you're doing a presentation or you're flicking through some photos and things in front of family then again it's maybe a better option than having your hand in the way. I would highly recommend the Bamboo Stylus from Wacom as it is quite cheap at the moment from Amazon so I'm going to put a link down in the description below so you can get it for yourself. Like I say it's around £6 here in the UK and in my opinion it is definitely worth it for that really nice design and also the fact that it just feels really good in the hand and it's got some weight to it and you can tell that it's not necessarily a cheap device. Thanks very much for watching, I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass and I will catch you guys in the next video.